The Emerging Power Struggle in the Arctic Region The Arctic, a distant, icy frontier, has become the latest theater of geopolitical tension. Its vast, untapped resources and strategic location have drawn the attention of global superpowers, the US, China, and Russia. Sea ice declines annually in the Arctic, revealing new possibilities. Two shorter shipping routes emerge, promising faster, more cost-efficient transportation between continents. It's not just logistics that are at stake, a wealth of resources lies beneath the ice. Beneath the tundra, valuable resources such as oil, gas, and rare earth metals are hidden. These elements are essential for high-tech industries, increasing their geopolitical significance and transforming the region into a potential gold mine. The U.S., with Alaska as its gateway to the Arctic, is fully aware of the strategic importance of the region. As the existing superpower, it seeks to maintain its influence and secure its interests in this emerging battleground. China, despite its geographic distance from the Arctic, has declared itself a near-Arctic state. It views the region as a new Silk Road, a major part of its ambitious global infrastructure plan. The Dragon's Eye is keenly set on the Arctic's mineral wealth and the shipping lanes offering a shorter path to Europe and North America. China's increased activities in the Arctic reflect its global ambitions and power projection. Russia, with the largest Arctic coastline, is re-establishing its Soviet-era Arctic bases. It aims to control the Northern Sea Route, which would grant it significant geostrategic advantage and an upper hand in the Arctic scramble. However, the race for the Arctic is not just a contest of power and wealth. It also raises serious environmental concerns. Overexploitation could lead to irreversible damage to the fragile Arctic ecosystem. The melting ice, while opening up economic opportunities, also signals an escalating climate crisis. Environmentalists warn that aggressive activities in the region could accelerate global warming, posing a dire threat to our planet. Indigenous communities have lived in harmony with the Arctic for generations. Their livelihoods and culture are deeply intertwined with the natural environment. Their voices, however, often go unheard in the clamor for resources. The Arctic competition is a test for international law and governance. The UN Convention on the Law of the Sea regulates maritime disputes, but the Arctic's unique conditions pose new challenges that demand innovative legal frameworks. The stakes are high in the Arctic, with its strategic importance rapidly escalating. Competition could easily lead to conflict, threatening global stability. The world watches as these superpowers navigate the icy and contested waters. This power struggle also highlights the need for diplomacy and cooperation. The Arctic might be a field of competition, but it could also be a platform for mutual understanding and peaceful coexistence. The Arctic scenario underscores the changing dynamics of global power. It is a mirror reflecting the aspirations, anxieties, and ambitions of these players on the world stage. It's not just about who gets the prizes buried beneath the ice. It's also about who sets the rules of the game, who leads, and who follows in a rapidly transforming world order. The Arctic's fate is a matter of global concern. Its future should not be left to the whims of a few power players. It needs international cooperation, inclusive dialogue, sustainable practices, and respect for local communities. In the end, the Arctic power struggle is a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of our world. It reveals how a remote, icy region can stir up global tensions, challenges, and opportunities. Welcome to the new world order, where the icy frontier of the Arctic turns into a geopolitical hotspot. As the ice melts, a complex game of power, wealth, and survival unfolds. The world is watching, and the Arctic awaits its fate.